Today is usually a day for the UAW to flex its muscle, one of the largest labor unions in the country. But with the pandemic and a corruption scandal looming over the leadership, this year is very, very different. Our Rod Maloney joins us from Southfield with a look at the UAW at a crossroads this Labor Day. Rod, good evening. Yeah. No marching down Michigan Avenue this year. They've been doing that for generations. And how do you socially distance? You do a video, right? And that's what they did. But one of the things they didn't do was address the future of the UAW. So we will. No marching down Woodward Avenue today. Instead, union workers made videos inserted into a 50-minute union tribute. The UAW is honored to be with you today. Capped off by UAW President Rory Gamble. This year has been unprecedented, and I want to recognize the hard work and courage of my UAW family navigating this terrible pandemic and working tirelessly to keep one another safe. 2020 was unprecedented in another way. Not one, but two. Former UAW presidents Gary Jones headed to prison after a guilty plea and Dennis Williams, his predecessor, who put Jones at the helm, will soon likely plead guilty for embezzling from the union. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider recently told Local 4 News about how he thinks members of the union's leadership wound up in or headed to prison. When there's a corrupt union official, sometimes uh, people who then move up in the ranks, they learn the wrong way of doing things. So what we need to do is instead, there's got to be a stop. There has to be a stop where that culture ends. And then we're going to put our foot down and say, we no longer will tolerate that type of activity in our union. Schneider says he has a team working with Rory Gamble to negotiate a way to permanently end this kind of corruption. Well, whatever we do, however we resolve this case, it still will be a, a way to empower uh, the men and women of the union, the people who are working there. Now, another bit of news has come out about the UAW as part of the corruption scheme. It's going to close the National Trading Center. The NTC in Warren has another one in Kokomo, Indiana. The union negotiated this closure in the UAW national contract at the end of last year as part of that federal investigation. Nearly 100 union members will lose jobs as a result of those closings. Back to you. So, Ron, I'm wondering, did the U.S. attorney give any specifics about how the union could change in the future? Well, he's not trying, he's not giving a lot of specifics. One thing he did say is that there has been a system for a very long time in the UAW where the president picks a slate mm -hmm. and for all intents and purposes picks his or her successor. He says that has to stop when the, uh, when the feds took over the Teamsters, they took that out of their constitution. And he says he'd like to see that happen in the UAW as well. Yeah, sounds like a lot has to change for sure. Okay, Rod, thanks. Vehicle registration.